Okay, class, welcome back to our programming sessions. Welcome back to our programming class. Now I'm going to talk about programming languages. Programming language. I want to talk about compiler and the, the inter interpreter. Programming language compiler and the interpreter. Now, as I said before that, program is a set of instructions which tell the computer how to work. And the programming is a process of creating a program, which means now is a process of creating this set of instructions which tell the computer how to work. Now, you see, pro programming can be defined in another way that is the instructions, the way how you instruct the computer how to work. We know the instruction that when you instruct, there must be an instructor and somebody who is instructed. For instance, here in the class now, I'm just instructing you. And now, a program is the one which instructs the computer. Now, a program becomes an instructor, a computer becomes somebody or someone, something which is now instructed. And as we know that the rule of instruction that there is no way out you can instruct without using a specific language for instructions. For instance, or for example, now I'm just instructing you by using an English language. Because I'm instructing you in English language. I may later on decide to instruct you in Swahili language or in a French language. So the rule of instruction that when you are instructing something, you must be instructing in a specific language. So when we talk that the computer programming is the process of instructing the computer how to work, means it must be instructing the computer with a specific languages. Now, those languages are what we call computer programming languages. So computer programming languages, computer programming languages, these are language for instructing. These are the instruction languages. Now, computer programming language, these are languages which we use for instructing a computer how to work. This is what we call computer programming language. Those are the instruction language. We call them programming language because they follow all rules of the, program, of the, normal, of the normal language. We know that any language in this world has its own syntax. Any language has its own syntax and it has its own semantics. Which means that now, a syntax this is a structural combination. In the structure or combination of the world. Of the word. While the semantics, this is the meaning now of that word, a meaning. So any language in this way has its own syntax and has its own semantics. So the same applies to programming language. And that's why we call them programming languages. Because they have their own syntax <coughs> and they have their own semantics. Now, as far as computer program is concerned, we have many programming languages today. One, we have the C++ programming language. Like the way human languages has many programming language, we have, we, uh, has many languages like English languages, Swahili languages, French, Arabic, and uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So even in programming languages, we have uh, many programming languages. One of them is C++ programming language. We have Java programming language. We have Pasco. Pasco programming language. We have <coughs> Pasco programming language. We have Delph programming language. We have the Visual Basic, Visual Basic 
programming language. So there are many programming languages today which can be used to write a computer program. Now, for the particular, for this class, specifically we are going to use the C++ language and not the others. When you are going in the second year, when you'll be in the second year, you, will be, you are going to use or to learn Java as a programming language. And for those who, are, who will be more interested with the programming and the software development, they will keep learning many other languages as they want. But for this class particularly, we are going to use the C++ programming languages. Now, in order to write a program, we are going to write a program using a specific language, and that language will be C++. And as you know that any language has its own dictionary, whereby you can find the vocabularies of the languages. Now, the same applies to programming languages, or the same applies to, to computer. We have what we call now a compiler. We have what we call now a compiler. Now look, a computer as a computer has its own language, the language which is known by computer. A computer know its, its language is now known as a machine language, which is now known as machine, machine language. This language has only two alphabet, zero and the one. Like the way English language, like the way English language, English language has, has 26 alphabet, A, B, up to Z. So the machine language, the language of the computer, is having only two alphabet, which is zero and one, which means the low and the high. Now, since computer understand the machine language, which is zero and one, and we human being, we understand our normal language, which is English language, which has alphabet 0, A, B, up to Z, 26 alphabet. Now, for us to be able to communicate with the computer, for us to be able to write a program to tell the computer how to work, means we are going to write a program, we are going to instruct the computer using our own language, which is 0, A, B, and the Z, up to Z, the, the normal programming language, which had the same alphabetic, like an English alphabet. But computer doesn't understand this language. It understands the machine language. Now, this is the, normally, if you have such kind of scenario, where we have somebody who understands one language, and we want to instruct in somebody who is understanding another language, there must be an interpreter here. And this is normal. Even when you go somewhere, you find that there is somebody who understands Chinese language, well, we understand Swahili language. Now, the Chinese, when we'll be talking, we need somebody who understands both of the languages, Chinese and the Swahili language. Now, when Chinese will be talking in Chinese language, the interpreter here will be interpreting that or converting from Chinese language to Swahili language. Then this somebody who is listening Swahili will understand and they will instruct in Swahili language. This interpreter will interpret again and talk it in, in Chinese language in such a way that communication now can happen. So this is what is happening even in the computer. We, will, we are going to write our, our, our programming language in the normal alphabet, which is called an English alphabet, English language. But the machine, the computer, understands zero and one, which is a machine language, the computer language. Now for it to be able to communicate, now we need an interpreter here at the middle, and this interpreter is what we call now the compiler. Now a compiler, this is now a program which convert our normal high level language into the machine, into the machine language. So the interpreter or the compiler will be the one which convert the higher, higher level language to lower level language, which is now the, the machine language. So for communication to appear, we need now to be having an interpreter. And for that case, we have different interpreters, or what we call the compiler. 
As I said that, a compiler now, this one is the machine which will convert, which will act as an interpreter at the middle between the machine and the human language. Because I will be here as a human being here. This is the computer. While you are here as a human, you want to instruct this computer. You understand the English language here, or what you call the higher level language. And the computer here understands the machine language. So for you to be able to communicate, you need an interpreter here, which is now a compiler which is now a compiler. So <coughs> we are going to write a language in, in, in high-level programming language, or what we call computer programming language. Now the computer understands the machine language. You'll be needing an, an interpreter here. So this is the function of the interpreter, to convert from the higher-level language into the machine, machine language, or which is the lower, lower-level language. Now we have many interpreters. Since we said that we are going to use the C++ language. Now, C++ language has many compilers. There are many compilers. You may be having the Boland C++. Some of them may use Devi C++. Others may use Codeblog. No, other one may use Selyot C++, Selyot compiler. So there are many compiler. For, for the particular class, you may use any compiler you want, but for us here, we are going to use the Selyot compiler. Selyot compiler. The Selyot compiler. And the, the good news is the Selyot compiler was developed at this, this university, the University of Dodoma. So this is our own compiler which is going to compile our, 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 our program in, in C++ programming languages. So here we learn what is programming language, what is a compiler, and what is an interpreter. And we say that for the language, we are going to use the C++ as a programming language. And for the compiler, we are going to use the Selyot compiler for compiling the, the program. Thank you.